Hey, my friends, this is Mike, and it's the un- umpteenth day of the stay-at-home stay order for all of us, and it's a gorgeous day regardless. It's a gorgeous outside here in central Ohio. I'm sitting here on my back porch. want to connect with you. So glad we can take this moment together. Well, I was thinking about a story that has helped me in the past navigate situations of difficulty, situations of the, a lot of unknowns and uncertainty, and I hope this story helps you as well as we think about moving forward together uh, into the future. So doctors Les and Leslie Parrott tell this true story of when they were on a Cessna airplane. So they were flying on this Cessna airplane as passengers. And at one point, Les leans over to the pilot and says, so what's the secret to getting a good landing for this airplane? And the pilot leans over and says to Les, the secret is having the right attitude despite atmospheric conditions. And Les leans over to his wife Leslie and says, ah, he meant to say altitude. And the pilot says, no, 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 I meant to say attitude because planes have attitudes. That the attitude for a plane is a relationship between the, between the plane and the horizon. There's even a, 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 a dial uh, on the, in the cockpit, on the dashboard for the cockpit, that talks about the attitude of the plane in relationship to the horizon. Well, when Les heard that, Les leans back over to his wife, Leslie, and says, write that down. Because he realized that moment, the wisdom, not just the technical insight that the pilot gave Les and Leslie about landing in the airplane correctly and appropriately, that's about life. And Les and Leslie began to talk about how life has sometimes a lot of swirling uncertainties all around us. Lots of unknowns, lots of difficulty. And the key to navigating life is having the right attitude despite atmospheric conditions. It's not just true for planes, it's true for human beings as well. Because you and I right now are in situations where it's swirling uncertainty all around us. There is difficulty all around us. It's, there's a lot of unknowns right now. And we're all facing these together. And it's creating turbulence as if we're on a plane and there's a lot of swirling air all around us. And our plane, that is our life together, it's, it's rocky, it's turbulent. But the key is having the right attitude despite the atmosphere conditions. Like we can't control the unknowns. We can't control all these things, but we can control our attitude and have the right attitude to help us land this plane, keep our life in the right direction, moving the direction God wants us to go, and it comes with the right attitude. So what's interesting is, uh, their attitude shows up a few times in the New Testament. Philippians chapter 2 comes to mind where Paul says, let your attitude be the same as Christ Jesus. He begins to talk about the attitude of humility for Jesus. And so Jesus approached difficult times with humility. What's also interesting that Paul, when he writes the, the church in Ephesus, He talks about how attitude is one of the areas of our lives that is redeemed, that is renewed when we come to Christ. When we rest ourselves in Christ, our attitudes are affected. And in chapter 4 of Ephesians, uh, he writes this in verse 23. Be made new in the attitude of your minds. And he goes on verse 24. To put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. But he says in verse 23, be made new in the attitude of your minds. And it made me think about like if Jesus were physically living in this time, like as he did 2,000 years ago, how would he respond to this time? What attitude would he, he have in response to the swirling uncertainty that we're all experiencing? And if I can imagine what attitude Jesus might have, maybe I should take that same attitude. Not maybe, I should take that same attitude and live into that and and pray to God. God, continue to give us, give me the right attitude despite these atmospheric conditions all around us. So we're more aligned with Christ in this. More humble, grateful, joyful, peaceful. All those are all attitudes that we can embrace and choose every single day of our lives and move away from attitudes of cynicism and complaining and disagreement and being disagreeable, right? So we move into Christ-likeness 
by adopting a Christ-like attitude in the midst of swirling uncertainty. And that's my prayer for you. It's my prayer for me as well. As together, we're trying to land this plane. That is our, 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 our life together. So let's do so with the proper attitude. My friend, until we talk again, may you be blessed to be a blessing today.